Okie dokie. In this problem, we're going to do a version of Excel, finding the approximate area under the curve for this function from one to two using left sums and four equal segments. So in this first row, we're going to lay out the X value starting at one. Second row, we'll have G value. So first step is let's fill out the next few X values we need from one to two, but split up into four equal segments. So how we find that is by doing equals, we'll do the difference in the x value, so 2 minus 1, and we will divide that by 4 for 4 equal segments. So we can tell that the difference between x value should be 0.25 each time. So what we can do is a little trick. We'll do equals. We'll do b1 plus 0.25. That'll give us that, which allows us to click and drag this across until we have 2. So now we want to find the g values corresponding to these x values. So what we need to do is just plug in the function into this cell here. So starting with sine, all caps, then parentheses, 5 times x, so 5 with the asterisk, and then x, we don't want to type x, we don't want to type 1, we want to click b1 or type b1, whatever. All right, so then plus 4, we'll close out the parentheses, and this should be the g value or the y value corresponding to that x value of 1. If we click and drag this across, we have all the other G values just like that. So it's so much easier than trying to do this by hand, in my opinion. Um, so now we want left sums. So really from these G values, the only ones we need are these four here. And we can leave off that far right value because the height of each of these four rectangles will come from this one, this one, this one, and this G value. So what we can do is hit equals sum and we can sum up click and drag these oh that's not right let's try it again equals sum parentheses and then i think we can click and drag these there it is and we'll close that off this will give us the sum of the heights now if we recall the rectangle sum equation i guess is basically just the width times the sum of the heights. So if we have the width times the sum of the heights, this was the sum of the heights. So we just multiply this by the width. So let's just do equals this times the width, which was 0.25. And we get negative 0.25386, and that matches this spot on. So this was kind of an intro into how to find the sums of the rectangles in Excel. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or struggles with Excel, please let me know.